Now this really small component here is a resistor, but its resistance can change depending on the temperature, and it's called a thermal resistor or a thermistor. Now just to show that, I've got a multimeter here and I've set it up to act as an ohm meter, so it's going to measure the resistance in ohms. I've got a component holder here, and if I just connect this into that, we can then see the reading on the ohm meter. So it's about 425. Now if I hold on to it, and uh, I've got my body heat, which is a bit uh, warmer than uh, the kind of room temperature we're in at the moment. As I'm heating it up, we can see that this number goes down. And that's because with a thermistor, as the temperature increases, its resistance decreases. And now I've taken my hand off it, we can see that as this is starting to cool down, the resistance is again increasing. And actually this is the shape of the graph that we get. So this thermistor, it's really useful in circuits where you maybe want to monitor the temperature or something. It might be, for example, a kettle that you want to turn off when it boils, or it might be to stop your mobile phone overheating. So that is the thermistor.